Hello and welcome again to Money Talks with me, George Pitcher, and a warm welcome as ever to Edmund Shing of the Opportunity Idle Investor Fund and publisher, author of his new book, The Idle Investor. There's been something of a huge boom in the valuations of house builders and estate agents after the surprise Conservative win, hasn't there? This is presumably relief that there isn't going to be a mansion tax after all and all those rich Russian oligarchs pouring back into the London market, is that right? That to some extent is right. I'm not sure about rich Russian oligarchs in particular. <laughs> Wouldn't be so sure about the nationality, but that's right. There was certainly before the election a pause on the sale of high value houses in London because of the risk of a mansion tax. That having been removed, there has certainly been a pickup in volumes and in interest. And certainly that's been translated into nice, healthy share price rises as of Friday in the house builders and also in the state. But it's true, isn't it, that a Tory government is good news for uh, foreigners looking to buy property and live in London. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. Because again, if we come back to the non-DOM status as well, even if that is reformed, clearly you'd expect more favourable reform under the Tory government than you would under a Labour minority government who might have been a lot harder on, on the sort of non-DOM mm. status. So I think that definitely is a positive. However, there's still the, the overarching issue in London and the South East, which is the lack of affordable housing. Now, we, now that we have a single government from a single party, let's hope they can actually do something to, to uh, address this problem. I was going to say, because uh, the, the danger is, isn't it, that the South East just becomes an ever-inflating bubble in the property market and uh, the bigger the bubble the bigger the explosion when it pops and the more fingers that get burned. Well it's always a risk George although what is interesting at the moment George if you look at the latest statistics is that yes house prices are rising but they're actually rising faster outside London and even outside the southeast of England than in London itself. Uh -huh. At the moment the fastest rising region for house prices is actually Northern Ireland. All right. Is the slack to take up in the regions? I mean, surely house prices can't just keep going up. No, no. Clearly, if you look at the fundamentals, George, you have to look at wages because, again, we always like to look at ratios such as house prices to salaries to see how affordable are these house prices. Now, on one side of the equation, it is very true that employment has been rising. So more people being employed is good news for housing. However, yeah wage growth has been slow, as has been productivity. So the other side of the equation that we still need to see is faster wage growth on the back of better productivity. Amongst all this sort of good news in the property market, where, where, are, the, where are the share prices that investors should uh, look to take a punt? Well, I would look back at those two sectors, house builders and estate agents. If we look at house builders, first of all, the company that I do like in the FTSE mid-250, which I have mentioned before, is Barclay Group, which actually is very, very much implicated in London and the southeast, precisely those areas which I expect to see to have better futures as a result of a Tory government. And what you are seeing is a lot of regeneration in London being driven by Barclay Group. Now, that has a 6.4% dividend yield, so great income and still a cheap stock, as well as being in the right place. Secondarily, in estate agents, the company I look at there is LSL Property Services. Okay. They are surveyors and valuers, and they also own chains of estate agents, such as Reed Rains, for instance, which is also predominantly around London. So they should do well out of both buying and selling of properties and also the letting. So the buy-to-let market is an area where they will profit. Thank you very much, Ed. And uh, we look forward to you speaking to you again next week. And um, thank you all for watching Money Talks.